Yeah, so unarmed black man was shot seven times by a police officer. I'm just going to read this story, talking about it from CBS. Black man was hospitalized in serious condition after, after police shot him several times in the back as he opened the door of his parked vehicle in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Graphic video of the shooting emerged on social media late Sunday, sparking angry protests that prompted the city to declare an emergency curfew. <clears throat> the man was later identified as Jacob Blake, 29, according to Governor Tony Evers, who said Blake was shot in the back multiple times in broad daylight. While we do not have all the details yet, what we know for certain is that he is not the first black man or person to have been shot or injured, mercilessly killed at the hands of individual in law enforcement in our state or our country, ever said in a statement. The shooting, which is now under investigation by Wisconsin Department of Justice, occurred around 5 p.m. Sunday when officers responded to a call of domestic incident. Incident. So this is the first thing that I think that the defund police movement likes to talk about. And this is something that libertarians probably can relate to too. We shouldn't have armed people with guns responding to domestic incidents unless the people involved in the incidents have weapons of their own. If it is not reported in the call that they have weapons, then armed people should not be going to responding to these calls. That's my opinion. Um, if anybody disagrees, you're welcome to argue it. Um, I'm open to change that opinion with convincing arguments, but that is my opinion right now. <clears throat> Officers provided medical aid to Blake, who was transported to the hospital in Milwaukee. I'm kind of curious as to what kind of medical aid, I think it was three officers there, can provide to seven sh gunshot wounds to the back. You only have six hands between the three of them. Seven gunshot wounds. You couldn't even stop the bleeding of all the gunshot wounds. Anyways, the state's Department of Justice said the officers involved were placed on an administrative leave. The shootings come amid nationwide anger over fatal... Yeah, we already know about that. Attorney Benjamin Crump, a prominent civil rights lawyer retained by Blake's family, told CBS News that Blake is now in stable condition. That's wonderful news. Crump said... Okay, so th this, this part right here is fucking heart-wrenching. Crump said... Three of Blake's children, ages three, five, and eight, were inside the SUV when their father was shot by the police. I couldn't imagine what it would be like to be a child witnessing one of their parents being shot in the back by the police officers. Could you, what? <laughs> the, the people who are supposed to be protecting and serving the people that they are supposed to be able to go to when they are, are they are in danger. They just witnessed their father being shot in the back by them. The people they are supposed to be protecting them. You think that's going to make them grow up busting the police? These kids, these babies are going to have psychological issues for their entire life. Trump said. It's true. I mean, to a certain extent, it's true. Um, I'm no psychologist, so I can't really comment on the extent of which this event's going to be damaging to these kids, but I think the average person could imagine that this is going to be a traumatic experience for them. Trump added that Blake was attempting to de-escalate a fight between two other people when officers arrived to the scene, drew their weapons, and tased him. So, I, I don't know what happened before this. I, I don't know whether there was fists being thrown, why they would think that they would need to draw their weapons in the first place. 
I mean, I guess if you tase a person and they don't respond to that, then the only way to really stop a person would be got pepper spray. I don't know. I, I don't know why the deadly weapons had to be drawn. Maybe they exhausted their only less lethal options. But if that was the case, I would say that these people need to be carrying more less lethal options than a taser and a taser. Um, just my two cents, my hot take um, based off of what we know so far. We will seek justice for Jacob Blake and for his family as we demand answers from the Kenosha Police Department, Trump said in a statement. The shooting spark sparked out outrage in Kenosha, which located nearly 40 miles south of Milwaukee. As protesters gathered at the scene of the shooting, several businesses in the area were vandalized and about 50 cars were set on fire at a local car lot, CBS affiliate WDJT reported. I know he's got kids and the girl. <clears throat> I never had a problem with him. I always see him every day, one neighbor said. He parks right behind me on the street. Kenosha County on Monday imp implemented a second straight night curfew for residents. I don't know. This is just... I, I, I don't know. I don't... I don't understand. Anyways... Um, a part of this little segment, I want to um, take time to talk about some of the responses we're going to see to this. Um, I actually have an example. Uh, it's on the screen right now. Um, <clears throat> if cops have guns drawn on you, why is the cops gun drawn on you if you are unarmed in the first place? Why? I don't understand that. And you continue to completely disobey their lawful request. Then you walk around to reach into a car, potentially to grab a deadly weapon, is a receipt for a disaster. Okay, why is it that you are assuming that this person who has three children in the back of his car is reaching inside of his car for a gun to escalate things with the police? Why is that your assumption? I do not understand. My assumption when I first saw the video was that that guy was trying to get into his car so that he can drive away. I didn't even know about the children in the back of the car at the time. My assumption was he was trying to get in the car to drive away. And the cops shot him. And then I heard this, maybe he was grabbing a gun. Um, I would think that if there was a weapon in the situation... The police department in this area would, I, I forgot what it was, um, Kenosha, um, would have released that there was a gun involved. Maybe not. Maybe they would uh, wait until they get more information before they actually do that. But um, if there was no weapon in that car, like, like why, why, why is this even coming out? Like, like is this justified? To you the fact that there may have been a weapon in the car you think that that should have should justify this guy's execution I don't understand why that is where your mind goes okay the police have a dangerous job though statistically I've heard and I don't know because I haven't looked up the statistics there are more mundane jobs that are da more dangerous than this, but let's just give them that. The police have a dangerous job. They take the job to protect and serve. They take the job knowing that it's going to be dangerous. So you combine the fact that they are supposed to be protecting and serving, and they know the dangers in that job description, you should not be trying to justify the execution of a man because he potentially may have a gun. 
It would be different if he had a gun. It would be different if that gun was in his hand. But the potential that he may be reaching for a gun is not justification for somebody who is supposed to be protecting and serving to execute you. That is not what America is supposed to be about. But that's just my opinion. I mean, I guess I'm just a crazy leftist, right? Crazy leftist cluck. In addition to, he was reaching in his car where there could have been a gun. You're probably going to also see people of a certain side of the aisle try and assassinate his character the same way they did George Floyd. Um, They're going to dig up any criminal records he may have and try and say, look, this guy was no angel. In order to try, try and justify his shooting, it's going to be disgusting, but expect it to happen. I don't know if you're going to see it if they can't dig up anything on him. You might not see that because they don't have anything to show. But if there is even so much as a speeding ticket on this guy, you better bet that somebody is going to try and use it to try and justify the murder of this man, which hopefully is only an attempted murder. But um, they're going to try and justify it nonetheless. And I bet you, if he survives this, there are going to be people who are going to be like, and these people probably won't be in the majority of this particular side of the aisle, but there will be people who are going to be like, well, he's not dead, so what is it a big deal? I guarantee you that there's going to be at least one tweet on Twitter from somebody who says that unironically. I don't know why you would say it ironically, but I bet you that there is going to be somebody who says that unironically. 